Good afternoon. I thought we'd start our personal finance unit off by talking about your paycheck. It's something that most of you have seen, but you may not understand everything that is on it. So let's dive into it. So based on what you see in your notes with all of the letters there, I want you to put a star next to the ones that you are relatively sure that you could explain. So you're going to pause the video and you're going to put a star next to them and then you're going to rejoin the video. Welcome back. Um, so let's see how many stars you put down and how many you got right. So the first thing on uh, your paycheck that I'd like to talk to you about is your social security number. This is the way that the government tracks your wages so that they can properly tax you. This is something that your social security number is something that you need to make sure that you are not sharing with people unless you understand the reason that you are sharing it with them. Because if anybody gets your social security number, it is extremely easy to steal your identity. Next up, your gross wages. So um, it depends on if you're a salary or an hourly employee, how this works. If you're a salary employee, for example, I am a salary employee, uh, you earn the same amount every single paycheck. It doesn't matter if I worked 40 hours a week or if I worked 80 hours a week, I'm still getting um, the same amount. For example, you're watching this video because I'm not here, but I'm still getting paid for the three days that I'm not there because I had to take um, some days off of work that were personal days. So there is still a cost to it. Um, but I do work, for example, 70 to 80 hours a week, so I make up for it. Uh, anyway, so if you're an hourly employee, if you had, uh, if you make $10 an hour and you work 40 hours a week, then your gross wages would be $400. Your to date gross wages. So this right here, if you look at this, they make a thousand dollars, and so this means that they've had five paychecks, right? So you take the year to date is the a gross wage times the number of paychecks they've had, and for right now they've had five paychecks. Next up are your year to date deductions. So it, in a minute, I'm going to talk to you about these deductions. But if you were to add up all of these deductions, which is this times five, so because they've had five paychecks, remember, you take this and that would add up to the year to date deduction. So if they would, if you take the year to date gross minus the year to date deductions, this is how much money has gone into this person's paycheck, or excuse me, into their uh, banking account. Next up, you have year to date net pay. So again, this is how much is actually going into your account versus how much you were actually paid. And one of the ways that you can remember this is it's gross how much you make, right? Um, that you don't get to take home. And if you were to put all your money in a net that you take home, that is your net pay. I know it's kind of silly, but it's a way to remember it. So your year to date net pay is your gross wages minus your deductions times your pay period. If this is going too quickly, please feel free to pause the video and you can also rewind it. Next up are your deductions. So a deduction is the amount of money that they take out of your paycheck for certain things. And everybody has different things over here. So for example, um, if you had extra money withheld for um, a 401k, or if you were putting money aside for something else, um, or if you owe child support money or things like that, those are deductions out of your paycheck. And for this one, they had a total of $290.26 for this pay period. So if you were to add this up right here, you get $290.26 for the deductions. So that's how you get $1,000 was their gross pay minus your deductions equals their net pay of $709.74. So again, your net pay is your gross wages minus your deductions. And if you have direct deposit or if you just take your check right to the bank, this is how much money has gone into your account from this paycheck. Next up, we have federal income tax. Um, you have to pay federal income tax, but you may get it back at the end based on the number of um, dollars you make during the year your tax rate is established. So if at the end of the year, the federal government uh, through the IRS, which is the Internal Revenue Service, thinks that you have had you should have x amount of money paid in taxes and you've paid more than that then you get a refund if you haven't paid enough then you have to pay um, and that's due on april 15th every year next up you have fica medicaid tax or medicare tax excuse me and that stands for federal insurance contributions act and it funds medicare we all have put in that and this person put in fourteen dollars and fifty cents out of their paycheck and for the year to date has put in seventy two dollars and fifty cents 
Next up, we have FICO Social Security tax. And this is money that's going into the Social Security Fund. So out of the paycheck, this person paid $62 and for the year has paid $310. Next up, you have state tax, and m most states have a state income tax, but some do not. For example, Florida does not have a state income tax, so that wouldn't be on here. But this is an example of a California state income tax. So they paid $44.26 uh, from this paycheck for a total of $221.31 for the year. Uh, we do have New York state income tax, just in case you were wondering. Next up, you have uh, state disability insurance. Not every state does this. So some um, states across the country will not have this deduction, but this person in California has to pay it, and it's $10. And again, they've had five paychecks, so the total is $50.